Hello, this is Artyom from Xarial and in this video I will demonstrate the new features which have been added into the QR code module in CAD Plus toolset. From the user interface, the control to select the source for your QR code has been improved significantly. So now you can combine the different placeholders to select the data and each placeholder might have its own parameters. So in this case, for example, we want to extract the title of the reference document of this part to be used in the QR code. You can also combine that with other placeholders, so for example, description, custom property from the reference part. You can also include a free text. After data source has been specified, we can now just select the size and position of our QR code and place it in our drawing. In some cases, the available placeholders may not fulfill your requirements. So, for example, you might want to extract the data from external source such as SQL database or any other custom logic. In the new version, in the standard edition, we enable the COM API for QR code, so you can use VBA macros or any other COM compatible language to insert your own QR code with any data you want. This particular macro will be able to extract the part index and category from SQL table and place the QR code based on the data in the table. This macro has extracted the name of the file and selected the corresponding row in the SQL database and combined index and category to be used as a source for our QR code and then just inserted the QR code into the left bottom corner. You can use any logic to provide the data for QR code. One of the top requests from customers for QR code module was an ability to insert QR code into the template and reuse it from all the created models. So let me start a new drawing here and insert an empty QR code placeholder. This is going to be used in our template. Let's configure this QR code to refer the full file path from our reference document inserted into drawing view. So just select a file path placeholder and specify that this is going to be extracted from the reference document, which is basically part or assembly inserted into our drawing view. Of course, our template will not have any reference drawing view and the placeholder data cannot be resolved to insert a QR code, so we have this warning. We can click yes to just insert the placeholder QR code, which will be resolved later after we add the drawing view into our drawing. The QR code feature has been inserted and you can see it has a red cross indicating that this QR code is empty and does not have any data. So now let's save our drawing as a template so we can reuse it in our new drawings. So I just specify the drw.format and name this as QR code drawing. I will specify the correct location for my template and hit save. Now let's create new drawing from the template we have just created. So I'm just going to close this one, start new, select advanced. So you can see there is a new template available, click OK. So and as you can see, new drawing is created and we have an empty placeholder for our QR code in the left bottom corner. Let's drag and drop part file into our drawing to create a new drawing view. Now when the view is created, we have all the information we need to resolve the data for our QR code. For that, we can just select the QR code from the graphics view and select the reload command from our context menu. And you can see now the QR code has been resolved to the file path from our reference document. Most likely you would want that to be triggered automatically and every time you create a new drawing and place a first drawing view, the QR code to be resolved to the corresponding value. So how to do that? Fortunately, it is possible with Cut Plus, a new feature added to Toolbar Plus. Let's activate Toolbar Plus menu and see the feature available there. So let's go to Cut Plus, Toolbar, Configure Custom Toolbar. So in here we can add a new macro. So this is the same as a previous version of Toolbar Plus. So also we can invoke the API to automatically update our QR codes. And let's just specify the title for this macro. Let's call it update QR code. As we want to run this macro automatically, we want to select the corresponding trigger to run this macro. And the new version of Toolbar Plus, we have added a trigger called new document modeling started. And this trigger got invoked every time you create a new document and add first feature to that file. So for drawings, it will be a first drawing view, for assemblies, a first component, and for part files, a first feature which fits the requirement of our update QR code. 
because we can only resolve the data in the QR code and the first drawing view is placed. We can also create a button for that, but as a part of this demo I will only select New Document Modeling Started Trigger. Now let's select the scope, as I only want to run it in the drawings, I will select a drawing and click OK. Now we just need to restart our solvers for changes to take effect. Solvers has been restarted and we can now test our changes. I will select QR code template to create new drawing. I will go ahead and browse the file I want to create drawing views for. So let's select this file, click open. And now I can just place my drawing view. And at this moment my QR code will be automatically updated based on the trigger in toolbar plus and the macro which run automatically. So you can see now this QR code contains the valid information for the drawing view inserted into this drawing. Thank you for watching this video.